Well, I know it's hard to believe, but the left has still lost it. They're still not over the fact that Donald Trump is now president of the United States. They're continuing to throw fits, tantrums, talk of impeachment. I mean, you name it, guys, they're continuing to do it, okay? Especially this one professor at Princeton who, while giving a commencement speech, called Trump a, a racist, sexist, megalomaniac uh, is what he called him. You know, if you guys have seen a lot of these commencement speeches that a lot of these, you know, these left-wing liberal politicians have been giving, you know, there's been like no message of real hope for any of these graduates. Everything has just been to bash Trump and his campaign and, and his, and his uh, the White House, everybody on his staff, his whole team. They've given no real, <laughs> you know, outlook of hope for these, for these graduates. I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, Everybody walked, you know, you saw those kids that walked out on the speech that Mike Pence was giving the other day. Well, when Hillary Clinton gave a speech the other day, how come nobody walked out on her? Everybody sat there fine. You know what? There's probably a lot of people there that did not like her. But it just kind of goes to show you that at least conservative students have enough respect, enough class to sit there and actually listen to the speaker, even if they don't necessarily agree with them. I know what a concept, right? I mean, it, it seems mind boggling, but no, it's. You can't actually do it. And that, so that goes for you liberals out there, too, that, uh, you know, continue to disrespect the, the president, not only the president, but any conservative speaker who may come uh, to speak at your school. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, this particular professor is, is no better. He's just like all the other students. This took place on a May 20th commencement speech at Hampshire College, which is a private liberal arts college in Amherst, Massachusetts. He says this, the president of the United States, the most powerful politician in the world, is a racist, sexist, megalomaniac, said Kienga Yamatha Taylor, who is an assistant professor in African American Studies, according to a new report released by campus reform reporter Anthony Gokowski. He says, quote, it's not a benign observation, but has meant, has meant tragic consequences for many people in our very own country from terror-inducing raids in the, in the communities of undocumented immigrants, which undocumented is the politically correct term, guys, for illegal immigrants. They don't like to use illegal, so they, un, they say undocumented. To his disparaging of refugees in a march of freedom and respite, said Taylor, who is the author of From Hashtag Black Lives Matter to Black Liberation. During the speech, according to The Blaze, Taylor, who is on sabbatical for the 2016-2017 academic year, suggested that the federal court decisions that are striking down Trump's executive orders temporarily restricting immigration from several Muslim-majority nations were the result of political activism, not the application of the law. It's political activism. Oh, when Trump's first legal Muslim travel ban was attempted, thousands of ordinary people just flooded to the airports around the, around the country, she said. And because of those protests and the defiance that they represented, that ban was stopped. Not once, but twice. It is not enough just to be outraged. Injustice has to actually be defied. Taylor also said that Trump empowered an attorney general who embraces and promulgates policies that have already proven to have had a devastating impact on black families and communities. Of course, they're referring to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who they've called a racist, among other horrible names, which is just ridiculous. But guys, this is what we're dealing with. Again, it's a total lack of respect for the Trump administration, for the office of the presidency, and anybody who's a right-wing conservative speaker, whether you're a speaker or not, or you're just a student, we should all take that as an insult. Continue to stand up, guys. Continue to fight back. Maybe not physically, but continue to show class, continue to show real respect, and let the left continue to be the babies that they are, continue to cry, to whine, to pitch fits. I mean, that's what these professors do, and they're supposed to be the leaders of these classrooms. They're nothing but leaders, nothing more than just activists themselves. These colleges are nothing more than just indoctrination sites now to promote the liberal agenda that these universities and schools are providing. It's absolutely ridiculous, guys, all right? Anyway, I'll be back with more, guys. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel, CardsFan480. I'll continue to bring you all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. Most importantly, guys, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Just leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior today. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God today, guys, where you'll have everlasting life. 
and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you, it'll be the greatest decision you ever will make. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you guys, and I'll talk with you soon.